Hello guys, how you doing? Uh, Al Anonymous here. We are with the Super Nintendo Classic, and we're going to be hacking it today using HackChi 2.20, uh, release candidate 4. Uh, there should be an update that has uh, more support, including support for the RetroArch, all of the ROMs that are not supported by the original kernel, as well as support for the NES Classic. Uh, the first thing you want to do is download the release candidate, um, which is available on cluster underscore N's Twitter. Uh, the very first time that you boot up your Super Nintendo, you want to plug in the USB in the back. You hold down reset and then you hit power. When you hear that sound, that you can let go of reset. Then what you want to do is uh, load into Hackchi 2.20 and it will ask you what version you're using. Uh, you can do a NES Classic, uh, Famicom Classic, Super Famicom Classic, or uh, the other, there's one more choice. So I chose the Super Nintendo uh, Classic. And then from here, you do a dump of the kernel. And then, I think you the host, Zero Fire. You, uh, you basically add games and then you synchronize. Uh, the very first time, you might have to install a driver for it to be able to recognize the Super Nintendo. Uh, but it will have it pop up and you just hit enter. It will be one of these black boxes. Uh, you hit enter and then it will uh, install the driver. So, um, let's just add like one more game. Um, let's see where... Let's see. I think I have some stuff in here. Actually, let me plug in my hard drive. Okay, so you can just add more games and then point it towards your, uh, my not porn. <laughs> my my uh, freaking hard drive is called Al's Not Porn Backup Drive as a joke, because I was going to send this to Abs and Alright. So we're just going to add a random US game that is not uh, originally available. Um, we'll try Battle Cars. That's fine. So with Battle Cars, uh, the original one, the Hackchi 1.7D, you can just Google search all of uh, the images. But for this one, it doesn't have that support yet. It probably will in the final version. So you just go to uh, Google and add the art for it. And then you synchronize. The very first time that you do this, um, you're going to have to um, install the driver for it as well as dump the NES, the Super NES, I think. Um, no, it does not support power ROMs yet. All right, it's wanting me to, I guess, do a boot up without doing the reset power thing. You might just need to do that with the um, the very first time when you need to install a kernel. So we are turning it on normally. You should see a red light. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so the Hatchery program has actually changed since I originally did it. You just, I guess, for the very first time, you have to hold down reset and hit power to install the kernel. But after that, you don't have to do it. Uh, you just power up the console normally. Uh, and if you see on the, uh, like my capture, um, the actual uh, updated firmware will just say Hackchi on the display. So it's outputting that uh, via HDMI. All right, so it is done. We've added battle cards as well as the other games that we added earlier and the system should automatically reboot right back into the menu. So let's look right here. You can make a driver for the host. So in your original menu, Controller. Let's just try uh, restarting this. Mm -hmm. 
So it has the original, like the NES uh, hack chi, it has the original games uh, in the main menu. And then you uh, will add additional games un under more games. Once you add more than 30, it will start to uh, divide them into folders. But since we just have a few games here, uh, it just has them uh, right on this main menu, this one menu. So I'll show these games uh, booting up, prove that they do work and that we did add games to the uh, SNES Classic. To get out of the game, you just hit reset. You can also do a controller combination. Chrono Trigger is one of the games that uh, everybody wishes was on the original console, so it's nice to be able to add that. Sanrio World Smash, one of my favorite games on the uh, Super Famicom. <laughs> and time cop. You gotta have. Everybody's gotta have time cop, right? Overall, I'm very happy with the system. Uh, I really do appreciate uh, the Hack G2 hack by Cluster M and all the time that he's put into it. You can donate directly to Cluster to support the project. It's a top tier game, huh? <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, the console it did end up very nice. I don't like this little door. It's not a big deal. The box is nice, cute. And then the uh, I was saying it comes with two controllers. The uh, the controller is spot on. It feels great. I mean, this is an original. I have my original SNES Classic or SNES controller from my childhood. You can't tell the difference. D-pad, yeah, it feels like a it feels like a brand new controller. Like it, it feels like you're opening a brand new controller. I mean, you are opening a brand new controller. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know if this is true with the Super Nintendo, but it's definitely true with the NES uh, controller. You can't swap the parts. You can't like get the new rubbers and D-pad and stuff like that. Unfortunately, that would have been really nice to have uh, OEM replacements for uh, the buttons and the um, the rubbers and stuff like that, but. Uh, And yeah, the original games are still on here, so they run fine. Yeah, I, I usually, I genuinely don't like third-party controllers. It's just not really worth it for me. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for me for today. Really do appreciate everybody hanging out. I will do an update. Uh, I will do an update to this once the actual final version of Hack G2 uh, gets updated, or probably every time it gets updated. Um, I want to show uh, support for NES games as well as the RetroArch support for like MAME and Neo Geo games. Uh, but yeah, if you're able to find one, I would recommend picking it up. It's a nice little system. It's really nice that it comes with two controllers. Um, I appreciate everybody hanging out. I will see you guys later. I'll probably be on in a little bit, uh, a little bit later. I just need a break. I've been streaming for three hours now, or two hours.